This video is to help fellow glasses wearers determine where to put their lighting. Hi, Taylor here with Financial Potion, where video is your financial potion. And to never miss out on a video, please make sure you subscribe to our channel and then click on that bell so you're notified every Friday at 5 p.m. Arizona time that a new video has been posted. For one-to-one -one training or just to support our content, please click above and connect with us on our Patreon page. A really great light for beginners are those ring lights. They're very easy to use. And most of the time you're gonna position them right in front of your face. They can fully illuminate your face and you still then have beautiful direct eye contact with your camera. However, if you're a fellow glasses wearer, you're going to get a lot of glare in those glasses. You're gonna see the entire ring light in those glasses and that's very distracting. And so instead of having the light directly in front of you and in front of your face where it's guaranteed to get into your lens, what you wanna do is push it out into an angle a little bit. So my light right now, it's more parallel with my shoulder and coming in at an angle. It is also about six inches higher than where my camera lens is. And so by coming in at an angle and upward, it's allowing to miss my glasses and miss my lenses. And even better is using more light. And so instead of just using that one light that you wanna have in front of you, even if you're planning on using something as simple as a ring light, have them come from both sides at an angle again to then fully illuminate your face and once again, eliminate the glare in your glasses. It's so distracting when you see the entire light in glasses. And so by having them at angles and having the light come from a slightly higher angle, it's going to eliminate the, the glasses from having glare. And it's also gonna make it so you don't have those harsh shadows of your lenses. If you have any questions about this topic, please don't hesitate to leave them in the comments below. And if you need suggestions on good lighting for your studio space, please take a look at our equipment page, which you can find in the description.